Uh, welcome back to Studio STL. Yeah, we're hanging out with Grayson Burke, who is the top seller of Girl Scout cookies and has been selling cookies for 13 years. And you, you get this down to a science. Yeah. You've been the top seller the last couple of years. What, what is that like? What, did, when you first started selling the cookies, did you set out to be the top seller? Um, well, my first year I sold 500. And then for quite a while after that, I sold 1,000. So I never thought I would be a top seller, but I did want to, um, I don't know, just you wanted to do really bunch. well, yeah. right? Yeah, you wanted to get better each year, probably. Mm -hmm. So, what what are some of your what are some of your secrets if you can share if you can share them? Um, um, what it takes to be a top seller? Well, the big secret is getting a big kickstart on pre-sales, so selling before you even get the cookies in. Right. Um, but when when we're boothing, like outside of Walmart or any grocery stores, yeah. a big tip is just to actually talk to people don't assume that they'll just come up to you because they want cookies because they probably won't even see you that's a good point so you're engaging you're 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 addressing the people you're getting in conversation with them mm -hmm. having a relationship with them yeah. so to speak and that's kind of so when you're boothing do you have to order those ahead of time as well knowing guesstimating how many you're going to sell or um yeah it is like you said a guesstimate yeah. um my like personally my living room is just a an explosion of cookies <laughs> around cookie season yeah um so you just pack as many in your car as you think you can sell and there's quite a few what we call cupboards around so if you sell out and you need more you can usually get more like mid booth i was talking to your mom trying to set up this segment and and i said which day would you rather come in thursday or friday and she said well grayson wants to know what which, which day has more viewers? Because <laughs> she, so she's thinking on those lines. I'm like, wow, yeah. I didn't even think about that. But you're, you're, you're very calculated on where you go probably to booth. Mm -hmm. You have your, your, your sweet spots. Yes. Um, there's certain parts of town that are better, certain stores. Like I said, Walmart is probably my favorite booth to do. Yeah. yeah. So you can get a lot of cookies. So what's your favorite cookie this year? Is there a certain mm. one? Is there a new one out that, that, that's um, really got you, or are you still with the classics? The, we don't have any new cookies this year. My favorite's always been the Tagalongs with yeah. the peanut butter. Yeah, I like the peanut butter, too. Yeah. But biggest seller still the Thin Mints? Yeah, Thin Mints Samoas are the, yeah. Are right up there. So what is your goal this year? What, what are you hoping to hit? Do you have a number in mind? Um, well, last year I sold 3,200 boxes. <sighs> So hoping to at least make that maybe pass it. There you go. And top seller again? Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the game plan. There you go. Well, if you see Grayson around, you know she's, uh, she's going to talk with you. She's going to look you in the eye, and she's going to offer you some of the best cookies around, right? Yep. There you go. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. You bet. Good luck to you, too. Thank you. Hey, keep it here. we got more coming your way at Studio STL. Mm -hmm.